100th Day of School, written by Sharon Katz Cooper. What is the 100th day of school? Do you have family traditions? Does your town have traditions? What about your school? There are many traditions around the world. In the United States, many schools celebrate the 100th day of school. Everyone starts counting on the first day of school. The 100th day is around the end of January. Sometimes it is early February. Students and teachers celebrate with parties. They play games and do special schoolwork. It is a lot of fun. The 100th day of school is a milestone. Many teachers celebrate what students have learned so far. Students make a list of things they have learned. They choose their favorite things. Some students make a big mural. They draw 100 things they love about their school. They also talk about what they will learn the rest of the year. What are the students looking forward to? What would they like to learn next? Celebrating in math. Math is an important subject in school. The 100th day is a time to learn about the number 100. It is a big number. Young children practice counting. They count jelly beans or other candies and then eat them. Some teachers make a chart on the wall. Students count each day of school until they get to 100. Teachers ask students to sing or dance. They count to 100 at the same time. Some students count 100 stickers to put on a crown. They wear their crowns all day. These are special 100-day crowns. How about measuring and weighing? Do 100 pennies weigh the same as 100 balls of cotton? Students collect the items and find out. Students explore other math questions. How many years until you turn 100? How about your parents or your grandparents? Students do the math for each person. Estimation is a great math skill. Teachers fill jars with different numbers of candies or pennies. Students estimate how many objects are in each jar. Who can guess which jar has 100 things in it? Older students write equations that add up to 100. For example, 1 plus 99, 23 plus 77, and 25 times 4 all equal 100. They talk about ways to count to 100. They count by ones, or fives, or tens. Can you do that? Celebrating in writing. In writing class, students write 100 words they know. They might write poems with 100 letters. They might read a story about the number 100. Some teachers ask their classes to read 100 books by the 100th day. Everyone works together. The class begins counting at the start of the school year. Students keep track on a big group list. Students add books they have read to the list. When the class makes it to 100, everyone gets a prize. Some teachers give students writing ideas. What will you do when you are 100 years old? What will the world look like in 100 years? If you had $100, what would you do with it? Students write short stories about these things. What would you write about? 100 Days in Science There are many 100th day ideas in science class. Students build towers with 100 objects. They use popsicle sticks or cups. A teacher might challenge students to build a house with 100 blocks. Students make collections of objects. They might collect 100 shells or leaves or pennies. They fill small bags or jars with these objects. Students collect their objects until the 100th day. Then they show the class what they have. What 100 things would you collect? 100 Days in Art In art class, students make long paper chains. They add 100 paper rings. Students make special 100-day t-shirts. They put 100 things on their shirts. These things could be safety pins or buttons. They might use googly eyes or sparkles. Students choose. Everyone wears their shirts to school on the 100th day. They march in parades around the school. Students decorate their classrooms. Some students make snowflakes out of paper. They hang them up around the room. They count 100 snowflakes. 
Some students string 100 beads to make a necklace. They can be colorful. They share these necklaces with their friends. Students also put together 100 piece puzzles. Are those hard or easy? 100 Days in History. History is fun to explore on the 100th day. What was the world like 100 years ago? What things were the same? What was different? What did people wear? What did they eat? What did kids do for fun? What was school like? Students dress up as a person who lived 100 years ago. What would you wear? 100 Days in Gym. How about gym class? Students celebrate 100 days here too. Teachers might challenge students to do 100 jumping jacks or 100 push ups. They run 100 meter dashes. Some students toss a bean bag 100 times. Some walk 100 steps on the playground. They measure how far that is. Teachers might ask students to count their steps every day. On the 100th day, they see how far they walked in 100 days. Teachers and students look forward to the 100th day of school all year. There are so many amazing ways to celebrate. How does your school celebrate 100 days? Can you think of some new traditions? There are at least 100 ways to celebrate. The end. This read aloud has been brought to you by Time to Read to Us. Hit the subscribe button for more kid friendly read alouds. Thanks for watching.